Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and I am back in Blackpool. I'm on my own unfortunately because I've had to bring my niece and her friends to Blackpool for a day out so there's no room for gas so I'm on my own. So I thought what we'll do is we'll do like some updates on what's happening in Blackpool and um, what's open, what's not, what's coming up and all that. So if you're new to the channel please subscribe Apart from that, let's get on with the day. So what we'll start with is the fairground. So it's Saturday afternoon, just hit 12 o'clock. And look, the park can be on Pleasure Beach. Loads of it left, so try not to pay extortionate prices because like just up the road I think someone's wanting about £10 for parking but here it's at like a pound an hour and you can do it by your phone so if you're going to be longer you just extend it so on and so on so yeah so get here for your parking first if you're coming like especially to the pleasure beach because I'll, what we'll do is we'll walk down there and I'll show you something we've mentioned it before so like we say, this is a pound an hour, but I'll show you something in a moment. So that's the road we're actually parked on, still by the Pleasure Beach. And there's a car park behind. This one is also Pleasure Beach. So this one is Pleasure Beach as well, right behind. And parking here is 15 pound. And it's literally on the same road where we've just parked. You see some awesome things in Blackpool. Like that. This is a car park actually at the Pleasure Beach. Literally a five minute walk from where we've parked. And that is £18. Yeah, so as you can see, the parking, it's so much cheaper just around the back. And it's literally a five minute walk from where you're paying £18. So it's a no brainer for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what's new to Blackpool Pleasure Beach and um, hope it helps you if you're planning on coming this year. talking about the pleasure beach how many of you knew that the killers had a video made here directed by Tim Burton made right here so a lot of it was filmed inside and then some of it was filmed over there on the beach a little uh, tip for you there but we're gonna have a walk down this way and then uh, We'll show you what's what you can do at the pleasure beach for extra money because it won't be free will it it's got to be extra first of all what we will mention is the blackpool pleasure beach late night rides are back um all dates for things we're going to put on the screen as i mentioned them so yeah you can ride the um the rides till i think it's i'm gonna say 10 o'clock all dates, times and everything will be on the screen. So they're starting again. Also, Valhalla is reopening this summer after a massive refurb, which I cannot wait to try because that used to be one of my favorite rides there. And if you haven't already, go on Icon. It's a really, really good ride. One of the best there, fast launch one. Um, if you watch Coaster Crazy, it can give you how many bolts are in it, how many screws, the speeds, everything. I'm just basic, so Icon's there. But also, they now have um, Ico Enzo, which is a sacred symbol of Zen Buddhism, meaning circle. And you can ride this at the back, spinning around.
So due to me forgetting to press the record button, this is a nice little voiceover from yours truly. What we're going to talk about is that you can walk the big one. Why anyone would want to do this in the first place, I do not know, because it is very, very, very high. And so selected dates through the year, they run it three times a day, six, I think is it six, seven and eight, approximately 90 minutes it's saying to complete this. So the price to do this crazy thing is £75 per person. You have to pre-book and minimum age is 12 years old. And back to the vlog. So as I was vlogging down there for you lovely peeps, two men approached me like they do and they wanted the picture taken because they saw a camera. So I didn't get the names. I did tell them about the channel, but I don't know if they were sober to remember. So here are those men. So if you know them men, tell them they're on YouTube. So I love it when you see happy, nice people, friendly people. I do. I'm going to walk from here up to the tower at least. I'd like to get to the North Pier but I've got to walk all the way back and it's a really hot day today and I'm dressed like Johnny Cash all in black. So yeah we will get back to the fairground at some point. I forgot what they call that one. It's one just going up. I've been on it. Can't remember it now. For the life of me. Oh, and then down this way, if I go up here, let's have a looky. Oh, you can't see it. The uh, the refurbished glitter ball is back, but I'm not walking down there because, like I say, I'm walking all the way up to the tower. So that'll be enough for me. So while I'm waiting to take a picture of the big one um, in motion So while I'm just waiting for the big one to come back around um, I will mention, I think Mike and June would like this one On the 1st of July to the 3rd of July They actually have an Elvis celebration going on in Blackpool So that could be quite interesting so I'm just at the minute just chilling here while I'm telling you what's going down. Um, 2nd of September we have a Blackpool switch on. We will be here. It's just a shame that we won't be with Theme Park Bazaar and Mrs Bazaar. We had such a good time with them last year. Um, also the, the something's back. Don't know what though. Not with paper. On the 30th of August, you can also ride the lights. This is something that I'm really wanting to do, so I'm hoping this year I can do it. If I book it off in time, should be able to. So cross your fingers. So that's where my niece is at the minute with her friends in there. So I've asked them how much it is to go in and they've had to pre-book. So they're in 12 till three on a Saturday and it's £35 each which they think isn't too bad so I'm not sure on the average price of a water park so it's up to you also over there you've got Adventure Golf but we do have some information about an upcoming mini golf which I'm excited about so I'll keep walking and uh, tell you all about it
So if you are on a hen party or stag night, you can hire this. I'm going to zoom in. So I don't, I'm not sure what you call them, but you have to drink and cycle in order for it to move. Can you see it? Here's this mobile bar again. <laughs> so we just passed South Shore. I thought I'd show the beaches because, like I say, it's a gorgeous day. But believe it or not, it's supposed to rain coming up to um, Easter weekend. So good to see everyone back out and about. So we're near Central Pier and it's gone from quite a quiet prom to it's getting busy. You can see the crowds up there, it's getting busy busy but what do you expect when it's beautiful weather? So something weird just happened right. I've got my um, my vans on, got my nice little horror vans on but I've got trainer socks on. So my trainer socks come down and made the back of my ankle really cold and I thought I'd weed myself. But I didn't. It's alright. My uh, sock just slipped. We're alright. I haven't weed myself. I'm not that old yet. You know, I'm not getting to Mel's age. Oh, seagulls are after fish and chips. Bloody stunning today. Well, tell me if I'm in the middle still. If it starts getting loud on this side, I know I'm probably running towards you, okay? So, let me ask you all a quick question. Blackpool, if you're ready, and if you're with me, everyone together. Let me hear you say yes. All right. Do on a Saturday if you want. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Nearly set yourself on fire. But yeah, it was like good. You. That's his QR code. Have a great day, everyone. I hope you guys get a good memory from from this. Help so as we pass uh, the waxworks, which I recommend doing, this is also new. Peter Rabbit Explore and Play. Right there next to the waxworks. That opened not too long ago. We were gonna go and vlog it, but we think it's more really like young kid based, so we won't. Yep, yeah, so if you've got young ends, you could do Peter Rabbit. They do do a um, they do, do a discount card which gets discount into a lot of the attractions like the waxworks, Peter Rabbits and all that. So it's worth checking out. A lot of the details I'll give you will be in the description below. So as I walk up towards Sea Life Centre, um, where Graffiti Golf used to be, there is an attraction coming. But at the minute, all I can find out is that it's a, a secret one. So I have no idea. Sorry. Can't give you heads up on that one. But if we did uh, vlog graffiti golf, and it's a shame it's gone because it was so good. Unless they're going to open it somewhere else. We hope. But there we go. So the Spyglass Bar, that's quite new, less than a year older, I'd say. Haven't been in yet. Looks pretty cool. What does it say? 
what was it the wh smith's shop and that's what it is it's just an essentials household store um i'm a bit short on time so i can't actually go in but that is what it is also what's going on here what's going on there i think he's asleep but he's crouched over a dog bowl Some lads are like wondering if to help him or not. Oh, that's nice of them. Before I said something about a new crazy golf, and it's going to be here where the old Woolworths was. You can still see where the Woolworths sign was there, and it was a pound land. Um, it's going to be a magical themed mini golf. I don't know if it's going to be based on Harry Potter, but I've seen pictures of it. So, who knows? Um, so it's going to occupy that building and that one apparently. So watch this space. I cannot wait for this to happen. There's the tower. Yeah. So magical mini golf or crazy golf, whichever you want to call it. So while the tram in the background, that's reminded me that you can do heritage tram tours. Not going up the prom on a tram, but you could do a tour of the depot and the teacher um, what they do to keep the vintage trams in fine working order. So if you wanted, you could go and have a look. What you can, it's the ones you know that light up like the bolts and stuff. You can see those as well. Um, like I said, I'll put all the info in the description. I hope you're enjoying this little walk up the prom i've got to walk all the way back yet and we've still got to go on the pier we're going to have a quick walk down there like i said i'm limited for time see these over here look So we're now on North Pier. I made it, but I've got to walk all the way right back down there. But we've made North Pier. If you look up there towards Cleveland, we'll wave to theme park Baz's mum and dad. Say hello to them.
So Harry Corbett purchased the original Sooty Puppy on North Pier, 1918 to 1989. Except there's no train. So this is why I'm walking uh, this way. There's a reason. Always a reason. So as we look out towards Cleveland's, it's got nothing to do with Cleveland's by the way, but the fireworks will be back this year. Uh, running Saturday the 17th of September, Saturday 1st of October and Saturday 15th of October but also on the 15th of October on this very pier in that very theatre there will be Carnival of Screams so there'll be like face painting, tricks, shows, fancy dress perfect for all the little kiddly winks all in that theatre but through the year the, there's so much going on there so we're going to put a link in the description to the website because there's just too much to really talk about and um, they're also doing something for the summer and there's also a sooty show that's back there and if you just remember that the original sooty was purchased on this very pier so there you go lots and lots of info for you there also Bonnie Street Market which was supposed to be closing or supposed to have closed has been given another year's trading so that's all good if you want to go and um, do a bit of shopping on Bonnie Street Market you know what I mean and there's also a hang on there will be a mini planet show which is the largest model building exhibition in the UK to be held here I'm not sure where I haven't found that out yet but I will find out as soon as I do I'll tell you because I'm gonna go so there we are that's it now I've got to go and walk back down that there prom so we're gonna go and do a shout out as well I'm gonna wait till I see Baz and I'll tell you all about it so see you in a bit so as we walk back down the prom is that there the old Woolworths magical mini golf cannot wait so excited so so excited it's good to see black puppies here again it's been a long time and everyone's more happy because the weather is beautiful so when we're talking about the tram depot tours if you're wondering where it is it's down that road right there so if you're wondering where to park or anything just down there if you go to B&M you can see it from there just you know I thought you might want to know I'm nearly there I'm nearly there I'll tell you what my little feet are so sore out of water help me right guys so sorry i couldn't be in that vlog um as you saw tina i was busy 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 doing random stuff um but we hope you enjoyed it anyway and we'd like to give a special shout out to jimmy jimmy cheers for watching mate um we're glad that you do watch and that as like you said, the vlogs have helped you get through mm. COVID and things like that. Um, basically, we just started the channel just for us. And yeah. we're glad that people have watched our mm -hmm. vlogs. And we appreciate every single person that does. And all of our subscribers, you know, they're all like family. So, it's amazing. So every youtuber goes through it but we have your low days don't you yeah yeah where you think why am i doing it yeah what's the point do, of doing it do we carry on doing it mm. you know because sometimes we need 
certain amount of views on there to get money but we don't get a lot this is a thing we put we don't even get five pound a week no, for yeah. youtube <laughs> so and then we actually put money into youtube parking fuel um pay for music and all that lot yeah. so sometimes it's like oh is it worth it and then you meet people like jimmy that then makes you think yes it is worth, it is doing worth it. it and you meet so many nice people we've got so many friends through it mm -hmm. yeah and uh, yeah, I'm sorry that I couldn't be there and meet you, Jimmy. But it doesn't do food shopping. Next time, next time, mate. <laughs> but yeah, thank you to Jimmy, to everybody mm -hmm. who watches our vlogs. Um, we do appreciate every single one of you out there. Yeah. And hope you like this one. Leave in the comments if you did. And uh, if you are new to the channel. Please subscribe <laughs> and yeah hit that thumbs up if you liked it because it's an awesome vlog hopefully <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next vlog take care of each other out there and we'll see you soon bye Cheers.